In this calculus tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to find the derivative of this linear function f of x is equal to mx plus b by using the definition of derivative. So let's get started. So first, f prime of x, you have to remember the definition. This is the limit as h approaching 0. And on the top, we have f of x plus h minus f of x over just h, right? And then we continue by writing down the limit as h approaching 0. To construct this, first we just put x plus h into this x here. So for this part, we will get m times x plus h here, so it's in this parentheses. But after this, we still have that plus b. So this is for the first part. Then we are going to minus f of x. But here's a common mistake. Go ahead and put down parentheses because f of x has two terms. mx plus b. So in fact, we will have to distribute the negative. So be careful with that. And all divided by h. Now we will just distribute the m and also distribute the negative. So we will have the limit as h approaching 0 and the top will get mx plus mh and then plus b and then minus mx and then minus b and all, all over h. Now have a look on the top. mx minus mx, they are just 0 and then b minus b, again, they are just 0. And now, what do we have? This is mh over h, right? All the other terms, they all got cancelled here already. So again, mx, mx cancel, this b and that minus b cancel. Right now, this is just m times h divided by h, so we can cancel out this h and that h. And in fact, the final answer is just m because there's no other variable. There's no more x or whatnot. So the answer is just this m right here. That's it. And in fact, if you think about it, this is the linear function and the derivative is just the slope of the tangent line. But this is a line already. What's the slope of this? m. That's why the derivative is just m and nothing else. So let's see what we have. Firstly, we will have f prime of x. And secondly, you have to remember the definition of derivative. That's of course the limit as h approaching 0. On the top, what do we have? f of x plus h. Good. So f of x plus h. And then minus the original function f of x. And on the bottom, we just have an h. All right. Now, to get this, we have to put x plus h into here and also here. So let's go ahead and write down the limit as h approaching 0. And this right here is just a times the x is this now. So x plus h squared plus b times this. And then we still have that plus c. All right. And then we are going to minus f of x. Be sure we put a parentheses and then for f of x, we have to write all this down. So ax squared plus bx plus c, and then we have to close that, right? I know this is a, such a long one, but let me tell you, it's going to get longer because of this guy. Have a look. And then later on, it's going to get shorter too, so you will see. Okay, so here's the deal. x plus h squared, this is an extremely common mistake. A lot of students, even though in calculus, they will say this is equal to x squared plus h squared. Because it's convenient. No, this is wrong. Right? This is wrong. When we have x plus h squared, this equals x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Because you have to add 2 times x and h, right? so this middle part. And you can also just write it down twice, you know, x plus h, x plus h, and then multiply this out. So go ahead and just work that out on your own. Right? Foil that out. So that's what we have. And uh, 
I am just going to write down the result right here a square so I'm just going to write down the result right here x square plus 2xh plus h square and I will distribute the a inside so we get the limit h approaching 0 let me just multiply the a which is right here in the front multiplying we get ax squared and then a times that so plus 2axh and then a times that so plus a h squared and then next we do this times that so plus bx and then plus bh and then we add a c and then right here we are going to distribute the negative so we get minus a x squared and then minus bx and then minus c <laughs> i told you it got longer right and all divided by h but right now it's going to get shorter have a look this is positive a x squared and we have a minus a x squared so cancel cancel Next, we notice that we have a positive bx right here, and this is the minus bx. So this and that cancel. Lastly, we have this c and that c also got canceled. It. So we have this, this, and that left. Notice they all have an h. And especially, you know, when limit as h approaching 0, the h should get canceled, it, right? Let's go ahead and factor out the common factor h on the top. So this is the limit as h approaching 0. Factoring out the h, this part we get 2ax. This part we'll just get plus ah to the first power. And lastly, bh, so h is out, so we have just plus b. And then all divided by this h. Are we going to cancel the h? Surely, we do. Cancel, cancel. That's pretty much it. Finally, don't forget, this is h approaching 0. Be sure you put 0 into this h. So we get 2ax plus a times h, which is 0, and then plus b. That's of course 0. So final answer, 2ax plus b. With that, we are done. This is a long question, so make sure, make sure, make sure you practice, all right? And again, don't make this kind of mistakes. Write it down twice. I will do that for you guys before we go. Write it down twice. x plus h squared. This is x plus h times x plus h, right? Really just work it out if you need to. This times this equals x squared. This times this is xh. And then another one here, right? So this is also xh. That's why it's plus 2xh. Lastly, this times that, we have that plus h squared. Right? So just make sure you do the algebra. So that's it. Hopefully it's helpful. Check out my other videos for more calculus tutorials.